Hello, and welcome to this NetApp video presentation. In this video, we will go over the new features introduced in version 2.1 of the NetApp E-Series Performance Analyzer. I'll include a brief overview of the overall feature set of the Performance Analyzer, but for those unfamiliar with the project, you can check out the link in the video description to a previous and more in-depth video. So what is the E-Series Performance Analyzer? It's a collection of software and scripts designed to get a performance monitoring solution for your E-Series storage systems up and running with little hassle. We utilize and tie together technologies like Grafana, InfluxDB, and Ansible in order to provide a powerful but simple to instantiate monitoring platform. We accomplish this primarily using Docker, which means all you need to get this up and running is a Linux host with Docker installed and E-Series systems to monitor. For version 2.1, we've introduced multiple new features to improve the experience of not only users, but developers who would like to build their own monitoring platforms or expand on the one we provide. Notable features for this release include a complete restructuring of the project to support expansion via a plugin-based architecture. I'll talk more about this later. Data retention and downsampling. We expose a customizable time period that full resolution metrics are retained before being downsampled to a lower resolution which is easier to be retained longer. The incorporation of new interface metrics along with a brand new dashboard to showcase this data, shown in both aggregate and individual form. The included Centricity Unified Manager has always allowed users to organize their arrays into logical groups called folders. In this release, we expose those folders to the performance dashboards, allowing you to filter graphs by array groupings. Improved disk and volume dashboards, allowing users to compare the performance data from individual disks or volumes to one another. So now let's hop into a quick demo of some of these new features, and afterwards I'll talk a little bit about the new plugin architecture and how that can be used to expand functionality. First, let's take a look at the interface metrics in our new interface dashboard. This dashboard presents both aggregated and individual metrics. For aggregated, we distinguish between host side and drive side metrics, as you can see here. The individual metric graphs allow you to compare each interface to one another, which can be useful for finding performance discrepancies and to find outliers. Either section can be collapsed depending on your situation and what you're looking for. Next, if you're familiar with our Centricity Unified Manager, you know that storage systems can be organized into logical groups that we call folders. As you may have noticed on this dashboard, there is a folder dropdown at the top. New for version 2.1, this will allow you to filter the graphs in Grafana by these folder groups. This provides a way to more readily navigate the graphs and get you to exactly the data you're looking for. So let's say I was running some tests on a couple of my systems and made a test group folder for that purpose. I can take a look at the system view graphs for all the systems running those tests by simply filtering by that folder group. Now when I go to select my systems, I will see all the systems that belong to that group, and only those systems. With version 2.1, the Performance Analyzer supports functionality extension via a plugin-based architecture. This architecture was designed to be plug-and-play, which means enabling plugins is as easy as dropping them into your plugins folder. This allows users to get even more usability out of the Performance Analyzer and allows developers to easily create monitoring solutions for their own situation using the Performance Analyzer as a base. Plugins can be as simple as adding new dashboards to Grafana, or as complex as spinning up their own Docker containers to introduce brand new functionality. We're excited about this flexibility and look forward to developers finding new and exciting places to embed their own monitoring solutions thanks to the simplicity and ease of the NetApp Performance Analyzer project. We hope you've enjoyed this presentation. Version 2.1 of the Performance Analyzer is available for download right now from our GitHub page. There you will find full installation and configuration instructions, an overview of the various components we take advantage of, and extended plugin documentation for developers. Thank you for watching.